the path that connects Offers Dyke. Morning, folks. Morning folks, and what a cold morning it has been. However, the sun's out now, so I should hopefully warm up quite quickly. Um, plan today is to really get over the Cambrian Mountains. I want to do minimum of 17, 18 miles, but if I can push beyond that, it will make a difference between, is it 10 days or is it 11 days? So yeah lots of uh, energy which hopefully the sun shall provide right so we just came out of the woods over there <clears throat> onto a track called panorama walk and we followed this track from the road and we will need to go back to the road in a moment but it leads you to a monument here and this monument is to I.D. Hewson who is actually a Welsh poet and his ashes were actually scattered at this end of panoramic view I'd imagine before the plantation was in place that, yeah, you would have quite substantial views. And I think as the road goes along, we'll get them back as we leave the woods. So I can guess we understand now why this road is called Panorama Walk. So you might be interested in where we're going next. Not Langollen, but World's End. So we're certainly in the Cambrian Mountains now. Some great views. What do you reckon then? Four door stepping stones. I did just experiment a little bit with the um, board. As soon as I put a foot in, it's quite slippy. So I'm going to have to go with the stepping stones. So what does that sign mean again? Well then, yeah? Why have you just walked up that big mountain? I don't know Nigel. Well I enjoyed it. Right. I'm going after this car's gone past as it happens.
That's where we're going, heading towards that forest. This is just like being at home, walking on the slab stones across the moors, the West Pennine moors, roaming Wales. There we go, we have Prestassin in sight, only 29 miles. I like how these guys are keeping the trail nice and trim for us. There you go, more mountains to conquer. It's generally uphill from now on. I'm going to get to a place called Jubilee Tower. There we go guys, my ultimate target for the day. So that's what it should look like. It was built to celebrate 50 years of reign of King George III. I like that sign a lot. 20 miles to Pestassin, 157 to Chepstow. Right, I'm definitely going this way now. Somebody told me it was all downhill from Jubilee Tower. I think they got that slightly wrong. It's kind of up and downhill. Oh. But I think once I get over this one, and I think there's maybe one more bump after that, then I think it's all downhill. We shall see. I definitely need to start thinking about wild camp. Depending on how far I get, I think it could be particularly wild. Half an hour to sunset now. Hi guys. Well, today's been really good. I did about 24 miles, which, as you can imagine, I'm really pleased with and um, it was over some fairly rough stuff and obviously quite a bit of uphill as well um, so a good day and that puts me safely in a position where I can finish tomorrow making it around 10 days to completion it means tomorrow I've got 15 and a half miles to go to get to the sea quickly show you where I am although you can't see an awful lot other than the moon
even though it's only half past six. All packed, ready to go. Morning, folks. Quite warm, actually. I think it's about two or three degrees. Um, so, quite excited today. Last day, day number 10, and I've only got 15 and a half miles to go. Yeah, so, press that in, here we come. So this was the hill fort I pointed out last night and yeah we're about to walk along the side of it luckily for me we're not going at the top because it is quite extensive It's an aerial view of it there You can see the double rampart at the kind of back that's because it's not as steep on that side Whereas the rest of the hill only need a single rampart because of how steep it was. Okay, so like I say, this is the actual hill and we're kind of going over the side of it this way. Love these signs. I love the slate and how colourful they are as well. He'll fall that way. But we're heading towards the sea that way. Well, it seems that we're going to go through another hill fort. Actually, genuine right through the middle. There you go. So the office dike path actually goes right through the middle here. And the one we just come from is here and we were skirting the outskirts. And just looking over here, I was thinking, there's quite a few around here, and it does actually list each one. So there's four in a chain here. And this will be the, the last one in the chain heading towards Prestatin. And I think, yep, more uphill. So this is where we've come from. And in fact, I can see Jubilee Tower from here and it's actually got cloud around it and mist around it. I'll try and get closer. So you can see we're at the top now. And we're going in that direction. I can just see the glimmers of the sea but it's very misty over towards that way I think there's even a wind farm out there as well so folks I'm at the 12 mile marker I've just come up a hill boy was it steep it was a reminder that it's not all downhill to the sea now and in fact just ahead of me there's another hill or two yeah so whatever I was told quite some while ago that once you get to Jubilee Tower it's all downhill that's a bit of a myth the other thing that's happened is the sun's come out it's nice and welcome but boy if I'm not I'm now in a position where probably the trousers of colour um, are too thick for the kind of weather we've got. Ah, thank goodness it's the last day. Right, I best be going. I'll never make it to the end. Ah, right. And yet another style to get over. What happened to all the kissing gates?
So on that bench it says, bless the weather that brought you to me. However, it was the bin that I needed the most. I've been carrying rubbish for, I don't know, 10, 10 15 miles or so. And it was nice to finally get rid of it. So look folks, I've finally take, taken my gaiters off. A bit worried because it's now getting muddy again in the lowlands. But it's just too warm to leave them on. Right, no more talking. The human race continues to surprise me still. Just met a fellow hiker coming the other way and we got into conversation. He was doing a different route than I was but he very kindly gave me some water. In fact, quite a substantial amount of water and also a couple of protein bars because I'm sick of eating chocolate, which is all I have. Yeah, if you see this video, I didn't grab your name. I'm sorry about that, but big thank you. Really appreciate it. Right, guys. Oh, I'm making slow progress. I think my legs are finally giving out. So as you can see, getting close to the honey pots of Prestatin now. Apparently I'm on Prestatin Hill. Right. One false move and I could fall into Prestatin. And the yellow handle. So I'm on the outskirts of Prestassin now. And very nice it is too actually. So I've just checked the weather. I'm actually melting and it's 15 degrees so it's like I've done nine days of winter and one day of spring but yeah thank goodness that spring is here now so to actually get to the finish you have to go past the railway station kind of have to go over as well it's just frustrating to have to walk back I won't mind but all the uh, trains today seem to be cancelled unless you're going to Manchester right last oh half a kilometer I would think to get to the finish so if you do this in summer you could finish with a game of crazy golf now that would be something at last I get to film this I have just completed 177 miles So as you can see, made it to the seafront. Thanks for your company. I hope you've enjoyed the journey. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, share with like-minded people, and of course, don't forget, thumbs up for the dogs. See you on the trails, guys.